How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be unboxing the Easy Book 2 from Jumper. Now if you guys don't know what this is, it is basically a lightweight, affordable and cheap ultrabook. So what this thing has is actually a 14 inch display that is a 1080p, Intel and a processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of built in storage. Pretty cool. So with that being said, let's unbox this bad boy. Alright, we first get some kind of box and then we get the laptop itself. And that's it for the box. First of all, you get some kind of reminder here telling you how to troubleshoot some problems that you may encounter on the first boot up. Um, I guess this is pretty useful. They're not just throwing you out there. They know what's up and they're letting us know. Who knows? We'll find out if we encounter any issues. Then we got a manual here that is pretty simple. Nothing special. It's in Chinese on one side and English on the other. And it just tells you some basic information, layout, design, and features. And this is a little QC sticker. I think that's a signature of whoever uh, did the QC. Here we have a little box, and I believe that's probably a charger in there. Yep, there we go. Now this box is actually opened up in customs, I believe, from the looks of it. So the charger here just uses a regular proprietary connector. So it's not a USB Type-C, but uh, the charger here is a 5 volt 3 amp charger. So it feels pretty okay. Who knows, we'll see how this goes. Alright, here we got the laptop, and you guys probably can guess, it kind of resembles a MacBook Air. First of all, there is a screen protector, or a top protector for this thing, so let's take that apart. Here's some unpeel therapy. So, let's first take a look around here. First of all, we got a jumper logo, seems like this thing will glow and probably will take the glow from the LCD when it's turned on. Take a look at the back, there's nothing. Take a look at the right side, we got a regular USB 2.0, a headphone microphone headset jack, a micro SD card reader, and on the front, there's nothing. On the left side, we actually got a USB 3.0 and a HDMI out, as well as a probably a reset button or a power LED and the DC in for charging this thing. Take a look at the back here, we got dual stereo speakers and four rubber grommets and a bunch of screws and information. All right, so let's power this bad boy up. All right, so let's see what we have here. We got a camera, we got some rubber feet, we got a keyboard, the power button is right there, the microphone, actually got two microphones, that is pretty interesting. Uh, for stereo microphone recording, we'll find out how good that sounds. A, and a bunch of indicators, one of them is power, one of them is for caps lock and num lock. And the keyboard, um, the keyboard feels pretty okay. We'll see how this feels and sounds like when we actually go and type. On the bottom here, we got a regular touchpad, uh, one of the all-in-one design. Now it's got a really satisfying click. You probably wanna click more about the edges here. Um, and it's, it's pretty hard to click. A pretty interesting click. It does feel solid. Um, not bad at all. But we'll see how that goes in the review. But anyways, let's get to the good stuff and power this thing on. So I just pressed it once for the power button. And it seems like it is turning on now. Alright, so not bad at all. It's uh, pretty okay for boot up speed. Took about um, 45 seconds or so. Right off the bat, as you guys can see, it's preloaded with Windows. And, um, first of all, I want to talk about the touchpad here. The touchpad, there's some kind of delay. I'm not sure where that is coming from, but we will find out soon enough. Now, it could be just in the settings that I can manage here. All right, so fast forward a couple days here, and I've actually set up a laptop with uh, everything that I need to test it. Um, here I got my 4 terabyte external hard drive. I got my wireless Xiaomi mouse, which definitely improves productivity and I have it hooked up to the wall. So here's quickly what I think about it. First of all, at first I was actually pretty disappointed with the display, but after actually using it and setting up the um, proper window scaling to be one to one at 100% without anything being too large and putting the brightness up on 100, I was genuinely impressed. And to my surprise, this display is actually much better than some laptops, branded laptops that I've seen so far. Very impressive overall. The brightness is very nice and adequate. It is 100, at 100% right now. And um, the camera settings are pretty close to what it looks like in real life in a really bright room. Um, very workable, not an issue at all. It's, it kind of reminds me of the ThinkPad brightness, maybe a tad brighter than the ThinkPad. I'm talking about the T400, of course, that I currently own, um, if you have any of those. But anyways, let's see what we can do here. So first of all, about that mouse function here, 
Um, I actually disabled it through the FN keys, but right now I'm using a Xiaomi mouse, which really, really improves productivity. Now, um, the delay seems like it is just part of the touchpad itself, so I don't think that is fixable. Maybe it's in Windows, some Windows settings that are hidden. Not so sure, we'll find out later in the review. But one thing for sure is, it is kind of delayed, but I can actually got used to it. It, it works fine. As long as it doesn't do random fake taps like it does on some crazy touchpads, I am currently fine with that. Now the touchpad here, what we have is actually two dedicated buttons here. Um, if you click in the middle, you can hear there are two clicks. As you can see, there are two separate clicks there. So that is fine. Um, second of all, gestures and scrolling and zooming in is actually very responsive and is very impressive indeed. Um, some laptops just fail miserably at um, detecting gesture. So if we go to Reddit right now, and as you guys can see that the scrolling gesture works perfectly fine without any issues whatsoever, which is pretty neat. And sometimes it's taken for granted when it does work. So um, touchpad, not bad at all. So let's take a look at the keyboard here. So as you guys can see, it does flex a bit here. And it I don't find it as an issue. It's kind of curved as well. Uh, it's bowed down. Again, not an issue at all. But one thing I really like about this keyboard is how thick the keycaps themselves are. Now they're pretty thick and spaced out and spaced out pretty well. Of course it can always be improved, but the typing experience, I was able to get used to it within a couple days. The travel distance here is really nice. Lots of travel distance, lots of spacing between each key. But nonetheless, not bad at all for a sub $200 keyboard. All right, moving on to software. Um, I have got Photoshop, Foxer Reader, WPS, Kingsoft, Office Suite, uh, MSI Afterburner, CC Cleaner, Steam, with some games in it, Fraps, VLC, and Chrome. And I still have 22 gigabytes left. That, and that's my Seagate external drive right here for quickly installing my programs. As you guys can guess, um, Word and Office will work just fine. I think this thing is perfect for that. Overall, just a pleasant, experience to work with especially with a 1080p panel guys it is so annoying some of you don't even know how annoying it is to work on a word document with a 720p display on a laptop it is just super annoying and unproductive but here we have a full 1080p panel that is actually really nice and uh, provides a lot of real estate now you may be thinking can this thing even do Photoshop? Well, I have actually tested it. Now here I'm loading a graphics uh, wallpaper I've done for someone back then uh, online and it has a ton of folders that I've put into a bunch of subfolders here. So you guys can see this thing is just loaded with folders and layers and adjustments and everything here. And um, this thing does stand up pretty okay. I mean, of course we all know this thing is super low power, but Zooming in and out works perfectly. Um, panning, that works as well. Uh, let's try to change something here. For example, the logo itself or the text. Now I'm zooming out and then readjusting it. Now this is where usually Photoshop lags on most computers when you try to do the transformation tool. And it's not bad at all. So if you're in a pinch and you need to do something real quick, it can definitely do that as well. Transfer speeds on the USB 3.0 are actually really good. Um, as you guys can see, we're transferring Kung Fury from my hard drive to the desktop here, and we're getting about 100, 130, 140 megabytes per second. Now, video playback was actually really impressive. I've let this thing play a 1080p video file on repeat uh, using VLC for six hours straight on full brightness. So that is really impressive for this thing. Now, I've looked into it and it seems like this thing has a 10,000 milliamp uh, battery. Now, one problem with that is this thing takes forever to charge. It takes about four hours or so to charge the battery to full. Um, so, if you're buying this, you gotta figure out what you're gonna use it for and plan out how you're gonna charge it and when you're gonna charge it. So, 
Overall, pretty impressive for the battery life, but charging not so much. Moving on to customization and see what I can load. Now I actually have Rainmeter installed with uh, Windows 10 widgets here, and although it's awesome, it actually takes a big hit on the CPU load. It jumps from 5% on idle usually to around 25 to 35% sometimes with the uh, Ray meter on. So it's up to you if you want to install it or not or take some widgets off. But again, CPU is low powered. So finally, moving on to gaming, let's quickly see what this thing can do. Of course, it is again a super low powered CPU, but let's see what it can do here. Alright, so the conclusion of this unboxing and initial review. So, as you saw, it is actually quite capable of a low power CPU. Um, most of the games I ran were at low settings at 720p and uh, it did fairly well. You can always tweak your settings and make them even better. Now, um, what do I really think about this laptop and who is it for and why would I use it? What really attracts me about this laptop is how lightweight and cheap this thing is. Um, that is actually part of his charm. I mean, just look at this thing. It's actually quite beautiful. The display is actually pretty awesome. The battery life is pretty awesome if you forget about the charging. And it's super lightweight and especially cheap. And that's what makes this thing charming. It is just cheap. That's the whole point of it. It's cheap and it handles things pretty damn well for under 200 bucks. Now, you may be asking, why should I even bother with this thing? Well, if you're actually planning to get a Chromebook, um, here's an alternative. Function-wise, this thing can actually do way more than a Chromebook. I would call it the Chromebook killer for getting the charging speed. Other than that, I'll call it the poor man's MacBook Pro Air. For Word documents, it will do the job just fine. For gaming, eh. Not really, maybe a side thing. Maybe for some low-end games and emulators, as you guys saw. And finally, what I really recommend this thing for is watching movies, anime, shows, or YouTube videos with headphones. Because the headphone jack actually sounds really good. We didn't talk about the speakers, and the speakers just suck. They're chinny, they're low volume, and they're not worth listening to. But the headphone jack, on the other hand, it actually has no hissing noises whatsoever. It is actually pretty loud, and everything sounds pretty awesome. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this unboxing and initial review. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button. And if we hit 100 likes, we will do the full review, including some of your suggestions of things to test out on this bad boy right here. But yeah, that pretty much covers it. And again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.